welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen and I have two businesses, Wiggle Wags and Kaz and Little Miss Sweet Pea. Well, today I want to actually um, drag you guys along with me and show you how I do dog bow ties. I can't remember if I've actually done this in the past. I've done a few videos, so I can't remember. I might've shown a little bit of a process, but I wanna show you a proper from start to end in how to make a dog bow tie. One that will Velcro around um, their collar. Yeah, oops, I have company. What's up, Sarge? You wanna come and join me? They often like to just sit there and stare. <laughs> oh, he's coming down. Hello, my boy. This is Sarge, everyone. And Nala he is here as well. <laughs> my two fur babies. And I base my business off these two guys. <clears throat> yes, love you, darlings. All right. All right, I've got to talk with YouTube. Got to talk with YouTube. <laughs> Anyway, oops, I've gone crooked now. So they're my fur babies and um, everything I do is revolved around them. They've been my inspiration. They are my models and they are my companions while I work down here in the workshop. And Sarge often sits there in the corner. He may end up doing that in a moment and just watch me work. But I also have in my workshop a little bed where Nala is now. Um, they don't often stay there that long. They'd prefer to stay on the stairs and they run up and down the stairs all the time. That's what they love to do. But anyway, it's nice that they come down to visit me, say hello, get kisses and cuddles and then run back up. See you later, guys. <laughs> anyway, well, I wanna get started on doing this bow tie because it is actually in order and I wanna get it out as soon as possible. I'm actually doing two small bow ties. It could be for a wedding. Um, I don't know. They don't often tell me unless they say, oh, it's for a wedding. But my bow ties are out of, let me show you, a beautiful um, dress fabric. So it's not, I can't remember the actual name of it. So forgive me for forgetting. I can't remember but when the bow ties are complete they look very schmick they look very professional and just perfect for that special day whether it's for a wedding or another special event it looks very nice so I want to show you how to make that <clears throat> how I make it so stick along and see how to make a bow tie and guys, I also have another order for um, my Girl Power tank top. And it is a custom made one because it's actually going below the normal size um, that I provide for Wiggle Wags and Kaz. But that's okay. I can actually do custom made um, shirts and hoodies. People message me and they ask me if I can do it and I'll wait up and yep, I can do that. Most often I can do it, but I don't have it as a norm for my business. So my sizes um, for tank tops and t-shirts range from size um, three up to 12, I think it is, 12 or 13. I just can't remember that at the moment, but I know it mainly starts at a size three and that's an extra small. I'm actually doing a size one. So this is going to be tiny, very, very small, but that's okay, I can do it. So um, I'm gonna get started. And I'm actually gonna do this a little different um, to the normal tank tops I do. So with, my, with the pattern, that would normally be on the back and on the front would be a contrasting color. But because this one is so tiny, I'm just going to do the pattern on the front as well. So it's pattern on both sides. And then with just the sleeve, I'm just gonna do a ribbed um, like a cuff, a ribbed cuff. And of course for the neck and the waist as well. 
So this is gonna look so cute and tiny, but um, it shouldn't take me long to do. So I'm gonna get started on that one as well. So, and this one is actually get an order. So I wanna get that out at the same time as doing the bow ties, get it off to the post office straight away. Okay, this little dog tank top that I'm gonna be doing, the girl power tank top, is the smallest ever I've done. So this is gonna look very tiny. Can't wait to see how tiny it looks. But um, it's what the customer wants, so we'll get cracking on it. super cute <laughs> oh, I love it and that only took me about 15 minutes less than 15 minutes so I'm just going to secure the um, <clears throat> around the cuffs on the ends so I'm just going to do some straight stitching on um, the ends of the cuff and um, then done completed <laughs> it's so small Okie dokie, so my little girl power um, tank top is complete. How tiny and cute is that? I love it, it's so cute. All right, so that one's done and dusted. Now I need to get onto my other order, which is two small bow ties for dogs. Now I'm gonna get onto doing the small bow tie and I've got two to do. And, um, but first, before I get started, I'll give you my measurements for my templates. I've got these ply board uh, for my template. Uh, let's get the measuring tape. I can't remember offhand the measurements. And I should write it on the board, but I keep forgetting. But that's okay. Never mind. Okay, so in length, it's nine inches long. And then it is four inches wide. And that's for the bow. And that's a small bow. And then the, uh, the bit in the middle to actually create the, um, that wraps around the bow. Let's have a look. That is, so four inches in length 
and two inches wide. Okay, so that's the template. I'll get them, pop them out the way. And I've already cut out, I'll just pop this down so you can see. So I've already uh, cut out the fabric. And then what you need is some stabilizer. Now I'm hoping this one is, um, see I've even got that wrong just then. You don't want stabilizer, you want interfacing. I've been doing too many stabilizers for embroidery. So I'm really hoping this is interfacing and not stabilizer because I didn't mark out my stuff so I'm not too sure. So I'll give it a go to see if it, if it hardens up, then I'll know it's interfacing. So you want some interfacing to go on there. Now just cut it a bit smaller than the actual size of the bow. You don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go over to the Cricut Easy Press and let's just get this fused together. Okay, so after you have ironed the, um, the interfacing onto the fabric, just do um, iron it or press it down in half in lengthways, but then iron it um, in half in width this way. Because then what you are going to do next is bring in the, the, the edges to the middle of the, to the center of that crease line and this side as well. What you can do is actually just iron it just so it could, stays a bit of a crease there because it can be a bit tricky trying to hold it all down together. Okay, and then you're going to, um, I think I've lost my crease line in the middle. But anyway, so it's about there. What we're going to do is come in the middle, about there, just like that. And I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to iron it down because I want to keep the bow on the end here like uh, bent nicely. But what you can do is just grab some little clips and hold them down because you're going to actually sew right down the middle here. I'll just grab another clip. Alright, so just hold them together and remember you don't want to actually iron it because you want that to be curved nicely. Alright, I'm just going to pop that to the side and we'll do this one.
part. Now, I'll put that aside. So you've got your bows, I'll just put them aside. But then you've got the middle of your bows. And what am I gonna do? Um, so I go, I just fold in half. And then, oh, that was hot. Then fold it again. And this side, and all I'm going to do is go turn it right over so it's really even with the edges. And I'm just going to go over quickly with the iron just so it holds in place a little bit. It won't really hold it in place that much. But it's just creating a crease line, really. And you can just hold it together until you come to sew it. Because when you come to sew it, you can ensure then that those edges are absolutely perfect. But it, at least you've got a little bit of a head start with a bit of a crease line to give you a guide anyway. So anyway, that's going to be the middle of the bow. Um, I'll just pop that one to the side. I'll do this one. to the edges or into the middle I should say and then fold it over as best you can as perfect as you can and then I'm just going to heat press it then just put some clips on it um, just make sure it's even. You you probably will not use all this length of um, the, the middle here, but do the whole length anyway, because at least you've got plenty to play with when you come to sew it. Now, because I'm just doing a small uh, bow tie, I don't need heaps of the Velcro. So um, I can't remember how wide this is. However, let me just get some scissors. So yes, I can't remember how wide this is, um, but you want enough of a length for it to wrap around the collar of the dog. Now this is a size small bow tie, so uh, I'd imagine the collar is not gonna be that thick. But anyway, I'm gonna go down, how much? I'm gonna cut off, probably, maybe two centimeters. So when I sew it together, I actually like to have extra there for the owner to wrap around on the dog collar. And if it's too long, they can chop it. But at least with at least you know two centimeters in length, that's going to be plenty for a small dog. So I'm gonna just cut that there. And then you don't need it wide at all. So I'm just going to make sure that's on perfectly. Okay. That's perfect. And then I'm going to cut in half again because you don't actually need it that wide. Okay. Because then what I do... Is I'll actually just fold them like that, have it have it attached that way, but then I'm actually going to sew that onto this little strip as well. When I get around to it, I'll show you anyway. But anyway, it's prepared and ready. Um, yeah, and get the next one. I'll just like to make sure I'm prepared. And there's well and truly enough, oh, see, you got to make sure that when this wraps around, it's going to wrap correctly, which I think that's right anyway. Um, yep. 
Okay, dope. Let's go to the sewing machine. So first things first. Oops. So first things first, I'm just gonna um, sew right down the middle of my bow just to hold it together. Another thing to do is you'll know in a minute when I come to it, because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, but you just want a little bit of a rubber band. You don't have to, but um, I find it easy if I have these little rubber bands. Um, you can pick them up from like the dollar shop or the reject shop. Um, I, don't, I can't remember what you, I think you call them the dollar shop in America, but yeah, it's reject shop here. Just those little bands. Anyway, I'm gonna do these, sew them down the middle first, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so that's done. It's okay if it's not exactly perfect, like mine's overhanging just a tiny bit at the end there. That's all gonna be covered. What I do next, I just, um, where's the front? Okay, so have it up, the front facing upwards, and I just sort of do a, a crimping effect to create the bow, basically. So, um, I'm gonna, it's a bit hard to explain it, so hopefully you can see okay. I'm just gonna pinch and fold and then do the same. So basic, have, oops, have a bit of a play, but essentially you're just pinching together and then you, you, that's how you create the bow. Oh, I'm not so sure if you saw that. I'll show you again in a minute. But then I've already done this, so I'm not going to lose that. <laughs> I've got to put the rubber band around it. And that's basically what the band's for, just to hold it in place, really. So there you go. So it's just holding it in place. I'll show you with this one. So yeah, just hold it. Hopefully you can see. Just pinch it. Hold it down. And pinch again. And then try and grab it to hold it together. Because it's so small, it can be a little tricky. Oops. Oops, I didn't have it the right way. Sorry, it's this way. So pinch down. Hold, up. Sorry, the, my fingers are getting in the way. And then the whole purpose of the rubber band, of course, is just to hold that in place. Okay, let's just do one more. Okay, and then you just 
fluff it out basically. I'm trying. Okay. Now that has come away from the seam a little bit from when I sewed it, that straight line, but that's okay. You can get it, that will tuck in. I'm hoping, actually, you know what? I'm gonna undo it and I'm just gonna re-sew it again so it's absolutely tucked in. You know, I don't want to come all this way only for it to see it's come apart from the seam. So I'm just going to go over that again and cut those fray bits off just to secure it down and then it won't cause me grief later on. Okay, so here we go again, just like a concordian. Concordian, can't say that properly. A bit tricky. Just hold it in place. Oops. And then pop. Oh, that's the second one. I need to get another band. Hang on. Okay, so, so pop it around. Just bring it to the center as much as possible. Can't remember which way is the front. But anyway, that's basically the front and there's your little bow. Okay, so there's both of my little bows. Now, I'm going to do the middle part. Just move all this rubbish. So you, when you sew this, you want to make sure you're going to sew on both sides, but sew on the um, the open part side first to ensure that um, the edges are perfectly aligned with like top and bottom. over a bit sorry you can't see what I'm doing I can't get I don't think that's a good angle either but I can't get the phone down any lower Okay, hopefully you can see that it is very close to the edge and hopefully it is very perfectly aligned. Um, oh, maybe mine isn't that great, but you can actually have that as the front and you won't be able to see that it's misaligned on the back. So on, oh, and now I'll just do the other side. Okay. 
I'm just going to chop the end here so it's nice and perfect. And then I'm going to fold it over and place the Velcro on one end there. And what I'm going to do is just sew that together. So one end has the Velcro on, on there. Okay. Okay, so I finished off one, and this is how it will look in the end. So once you've just folded over, you fold over a little bit of um, this middle part of for the bow, and then sew on the Velcro. I don't think it really matters which way um, it is sewn on, as long as you've got one like the. I don't know, do you call it female and male? So the male and female side. So they're opposite sides. So, you know, that that's, I don't know what you call it. That bit there <laughs> and the prickly bit. So when it folds over, they can actually join together like that. Okay. Sorry, I don't know how to explain that better. And then um, you work out which is your front and your back. So I am choosing that as my front. So I'm going to turn it over and just test to see where this is going to finish up on the back. So you want to start at the back here. Just hold it down and then turn it around. And then ideally, you want this join to be perfectly in the middle, not not up the top, not down the bottom. You really want it to be in the middle. So it's depending where you're going to start. You're gluing because you'll glue this on. And so I'm going to start there and then you wrap it around. You pull it however tight you want to pull it or however loose you want to put it to make it look nice, you know, at the front there. But the tip is you want that join right in the middle at the back there so it's perfectly even for when it goes on the dog collar okay so i'm actually adding in my um my little name tag wiggle wags and kaz as well so i will be gluing that in before i glue it down so it's just going to sit like that i've actually got my heat gun heating up right at the moment but I've got one more of the bows to do and it will look like that. And then it will look nice on that side. But anyway, so that's how it's going to look. I'll just leave that there for the moment. We're going to get on to the second one um, and sewing this one together. So again, I can't show you properly because my um, tripod won't get low enough. But you want to... Make sure my cord. I'm sick of re-threading this thing, so make sure you've got enough of this, the thread hanging out. Okay, so ideally, you want them to be as perfectly aligned as possible. I know it doesn't always happen, and mine didn't, but then you choose your best side that looks the nicest to be the front. All right, so I'm going to pop that on there. And just do my best. Make sure it's aligned. I'm going to have to take that off. Because I need to align it. And then I'll just hold it. Just hold it 
Pegar. Okay, it doesn't matter that you don't have to go backwards and forwards because um, it's going to be glued down. I'm just going to trim that up. Do this side. Now let's sew the other side. Okay, there you go. That looks really good. And I'm going to pick this side as my front because I can see it's not really perfectly aligned on this side. So I'm going to choose that as my front. Now I'm just going to remember, I'm going to look at this one. Um, actually. And then um, just fold down a little bit of the top. So I'm just going to cut that. Okay, so fold down the top a little bit because you want to pop that on there. And then we're just going to sew them together. Before I do, I'm just going to hold that together and make sure I've picked the right side. Um, so that's going to be my front. So I want to turn it over. Hold it down there, wrap it around. That's going to be overlapping quite a bit, so I'm going to cut it down a little bit. Um, and I did pick the right side, yeah, so that's wrapping the right way, but I need to cut probably about that much. Let's go with that much first. Oh. Make sure I pick the right side again, yep, so that's my good side. I want to turn over and just hold that there, wrap it around, and I can actually place that in um, maybe a little, maybe a little bit more. Oh, that should be all right. You know what? I'm actually going to cut it a little bit more because you don't want to have heaps overlapping. So. That's my good side, good side, turn over, hold down, and then that can then be glued right in the middle, like that. Yeah, that's perfect. And then you can fluff it out on the good side once you're done. All right, I'm just going to get sewing the Velcro onto the middle bit. Goes my thread. Ooh. Okay, let's have another go. I actually sew it in two places on here. One sort of at the top of the folded down bit and then the other on um, the bottom bit of that. So, oh, hang on, I'll show you what I mean. So I sewed it up the top here and then now I want to sew it on the edge of where the Velcro is, which was secure underneath that folded down bit. Actually, I'm going to just trim that. A little bit 
there you go so now I'm just going to sew down on that the velcro to hold that down I hope what I'm saying makes sense, guys. Because this is an actual order, um, I'm doing it in the right colours because I'm selling it. But um, maybe as a tutorial, I probably should have done it in a different colour so you can actually see. Because I realise, um, you know, the black is a bit dark and you might not be able to see exactly what I'm doing. But I'm unsure because I, I can't really tell. So I'm hoping it makes sense. All right. So that is all done. I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit. All right. So I'm going to bring over all my little bits and bobs. Better put my glasses back on. All right. Let's go over to the bench and we'll glue it down. So what I'm going to do first, I'm actually going to hot glue my um, business logo onto the edge here. Let's just make sure. Don't want to stuff this up. So that's my good side. No, that's that's my good side. If I'm going to turn it over, and I'll start there and go around and finish there. Yep, that looks about that looks good. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to glue on my logo first. Okay, so I'm not too sure how much of that second bow tie I recorded. I haven't checked. I've just recharged the phone a little bit just to do this last bit of the video for you guys. So there you go. I've finished the bow ties. Um, there's the, the Velcro to pop around um, the collar of the dog. 
And these are my small bow ties, perfect for those special occasions or weddings um, for your fur baby. Anyway, that's it guys of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I faffed around a little bit with my wording, trying to um, gather my thoughts quickly to express them to you guys. But I hope me showing you how to do a bow tie for a dog um, was easy enough for you to be able to make your own. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to pop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. And, um, you know, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and um, hit the notification bell and the thumbs up. It all helps and I really appreciate you, um, all of you following me along on my journey. I think to date, I think I last checked yesterday and I have 140, 154 followers. Thank you so much, guys. I um, really appreciate you following me and that you're getting some helpful tips from what I do in navigating my two small businesses, um, whether it be Wiggle Waves and Kaz or Little Miss Sweet Pea. Anyway, catch you next time, guys. Bye.